Anyway, about here, Tanner Bozer coming in at minus 165 against Alexa Kemmer. Sitting at plus 135, over under two and a half rounds, minus 156 for the over, plus 126 for the under. One and four in his last five for Tana Bozer. And this is be his second fight in the light heavyweight division. We saw his light heavyweight debut at UFC Kansas City, and he got ground and pounded out in the first round by Iwan Kutalaba. And uh, he's coming into this one as the favorite. It's one and four in his last five. It's only win in his last five is Owen St. Pru. Um, and Alexa Kamur, like this is a, a greasy light heavyweight fight. Like you're taking Tanner Bozer or you're taking Alexa Kamur, who hasn't fought in two years, but he is younger. So I would hope that he's been working on his his skills to you know come back and, and make a run. He's one and two in the UFC, back to back losses uh in the UFC to William Knight and Nikolay Negamirianu by split. So I really hope he, he's been working on his skills and just been in the gym grinding. Uh, but if he comes in here and he looks you know, flat or like he hasn't improved much, it's probably going to get cut. I mean, that might be why he's fighting because they want to you know, see, if, see if he can stay here or not. Same with Tanner Bozer. I think the loser probably gets cut. Um. And this is just as greasy as it gets. Like probably not something you want to get too invested in, but what side are you lean in? Yeah, for Tanner Bozer, it almost feels like he's lost a little bit. Like he doesn't know where he belongs, which division. Um, you know, thought he was gonna come down to 205. He had the abs, he was looking good and lean, and he comes in and he just gets smoked and, and bulldozed by uh Jan Kutalaba. So it's hard to tell what Bozer's gonna look like. Like, I wish we would have seen more in that Eon fight. Um, to be able to tell like what type of fighter he's going to be at 205, where his strength's going to be, his weaknesses type of thing. Because you're getting Alexa too, who's kind of, you know, yeah, he lost to William Knight. But that, to be fair, that was like a William Knight who had a game plan and wanted to use the wrestling and really stuck with it the whole fight. Got four takedowns on him and, you know, ended up winning. But the Nikolai uh, Negamarianu fight, it's not a terrible loss if you look at Nikolai's record like yeah he just got knocked out by Carlos Olberg but was on a four fight winning streak before that beat Eeyore Potiera who's a pretty dangerous guy and you know beat um I, I believe he beat Kennedy and Zechiku as well but yeah. regardless um Alexa Cameron there outstruck him by like almost 40 30 30 yeah 31 shots in that in that fight so it's not like he got blown out by Nikolai he hung with him he showed he's really tough um the William Knight fight obviously lost, but it's just hard to tell with him as well. And he is younger. I like that form here against Bozer. Um, I do like the fact on his side that, uh, you know, Bozer showed that he can get kind of bullied around at 205. He's not going to be this heavyweight coming down, bullying dudes in there. So um, as far as betting goes, I don't think I'm confident on either guy to throw anything down. But for the pick, I am going to take Alexa Cameron. Yeah, I'm going to go the same way, too. I think it's just a dogger pass at this point. Oh, yeah. Tanner Bozer has been on the do not bet list for a while for me. Um, mm -hmm. And I look at Alexa Cameron like there's at least something you can get behind. Like he's coming back here. He knew and improved. And if you look at his fights in the UFC, like where he struggles is when he's on his back and you're, he like he's getting taken down and, and he can't you know use his hands. I don't think Tanner Bozer is going to go for that in this one considering that's where he's also been losing fights. So probably going to be a stand-up battle. Um, and I think Alexa Kammer probably going to have better volume, a little bit more explosive, younger, and I'll take him for the pick. But uh, yeah, probably not one you want to get too invested in.